Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are checking out a car lock script for your 5M server. Pretty much what this does is if you press U while you are in the car, it will go ahead and uh, lock and unlock the saved vehicle. Um, and you could get the saved vehicle by pressing delete. Pretty easy to do. It just makes it a little bit more realistic when you leave your car. You may want to lock your car so other people can't actually get in and steal it. Um, so this is a standalone resource. You don't need any other resources for this. And um, it's pretty easy to install. So let's get into that. Make sure to subscribe. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers. I am finally back from my very long weekend vacation and um, my very long uh, winter break as well. So this is the first time in a while that the videos are not pre-recorded and um, we can get straight into it. Anyway, let's do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the resource page linked in the top of the description. And you're going to scroll down to where it says download. Go in and click it. It will take you to a GitHub page. When you're here at the GitHub page, you're going to click the big green button and go ahead and press download zip file. This will download a zip, open this with WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use to open up these files um, on your computer. And in here, you can see there is a carlock dash main and in here are all the files you're going to need. So we're going to go ahead and drag this folder into our main resources folder, wherever this is for you. For me, it's in my server data resources folder. For you, it could be in your TX data folder or if you're on Zap hosting, it could be through your FTP file access. Um, and I'm just going to right click, rename this, and then I'm going to delete that dash main. And I'm just going to go ahead and copy the name of the folder of carlock. So I know that it is a, um, I just have it in my clipboard to put into our server.cfg file in a moment. Let's take a little bit, a uh, look at the client.lula file. You can have the look distance or uh, lock distance, my apologies. Um, you have to be within this radius to lock your vehicle. So you can set this to whatever you want. And if you know what you're doing, you can go ahead and edit all of the code below this um, because it is open source, obviously, because you can edit the files. Um, so go ahead and um, check that out if you want. Anyway, let's go to our server.cfg file, edit this with Notepad++. And what we're going to do is we're at the end of our current resource list. Just add ensure start, depending on what you have in there, the name of the resource. For my case, it is carlock. So we're just going to go ahead and put that in save and then we're going to go ahead and start our 5m server and the thing to make sure um, when you're starting your 5m server is you're just going to look for in here started resource car lock and that's the way you know it actually worked properly now let's hop in game and try it out all right so if you press delete on your keyboard you can see it says vehicle saved now if i go ahead and get out of the car and press u it's going to lock my vehicle and my guy's going to do that little uh type of animation and obviously the door is going to be locked if i try to get back in but if i press u again i can unlock the vehicle once again and get in and obviously you can press delete again to remove the vehicle from your save so hopefully this does help you out and uh hopefully you can use it on your server um and if you have any questions leave them for the resource author over on the resource page if you have any resources you want me to review i have a list for february so far but i'm still always looking for resources so make sure to leave them down in the comments i don't know why it's a little laggy on the recording in game i'll go ahead and fix that later on all right, thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.